Shall we have a conversation about a huge personal loan from Letting Tree? Maximum loan amount $50,000, low credit, bad credit, fair credit accepted? I think we should. Don't go anywhere. Welcome, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to speak to you about a massive personal loan from Lending Tree. Maximum loan amount $50,000. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. And before I get into the actual nitty gritty, please understand that this, is, uh, this video is purely educational. It is uh, instructional. We have no association, no uh, relationship with Lending Tree. They're not paying us to do this video. This is purely educational. So let's talk about the loan facts. So here, first of all, Lending Tree is a platform. They're not a direct lender. They are a great platform if you're trying to find, uh, if you want to have access to, to, just think about it as a supermarket of loans, okay? <laughs> so they have all kinds of, uh, they have a constellation of loans. So they have personal loans, unsecured loans, debt consolidation loans, small loans, holiday loans, emergency loans, credit card consolidation loans and secured loans, okay? The amount, the loan amounts oscillate between $1,000 and $50,000. The APR fluctuates between 2.49% and 24.99%. There are no fees and the, the term up to eight years and the time to funding one day. And there are no extra conditions. So basically what, what we love with the uh, Lending Tree is that it's pretty straightforward. You can actually, uh, you can actually uh, get a, an offer within uh, 24 hours and uh, they love the fact that they, they give you all the uh, the tools to get your personal loan asap for example you can check your credit score on the platform they have uh, something called they have a service called my lending tree that allows you to get access to free access to your credit and you can identify you can identify um, whatever is going on you can do identity monitoring and you can find ways to constantly uh, monitor and find ways to improve your credit score okay so one thing you do with the lending tree is that you have a trifecta you have three steps you check your credit score you compare offers and get pre-qualified and, and this is great because you're getting soft pulls here right you're not getting a hard pull so this is really great so your your FICO score is not getting skinnier and skinnier because of uh, hard inquiries this is really good and the third step here is you select your preferred loan offer okay and uh, what do you need to look for in an offer? You have to pay attention to, lo to, the, to a low APR, to low fees, and positive lender reviews, okay? And what we love with uh, Lending Tree is that they have, uh, there are several benefits to their personal loans. So you have fixed interest rates. This could help you, and the loan can help you improve your credit score. You have fixed monthly payments, and there is no risk of repossession of property because the loan is unsecured. Let me talk to you about this lender at a glance, okay? So when we talk about Lending Club, I mean, Lending Tree, not Lending Club. <laughs> Lending Club is a direct lender, but Lending Tree, whom we're talking about today, is a platform. So Lending Tree is not a direct lender. They're a loan marketplace, okay? And folks, in this show, I'm talking to you about a massive loan from uh, Lending Tree, okay? Maximum loan amount, $50,000. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. And uh, so Lending Tree really helps borrowers find many different types of loans, such as personal loans and mortgages through a lending marketplace. So multiple lenders compete for your business on the Lending Tree platform, but you want to keep in mind that Lending Tree itself, as I said earlier, is not a direct lender. And uh, so this is a platform where you find everything from uh, business and personal loans to auto loans to student loans and to new and refinanced mortgages. And uh, one thing we love with Lending Tree is that they've been doing this for 20 years. I mean, it's crazy. Can you believe they started like uh, they started in Charlotte, North Carolina? A big shout out to my to my folks there. So they started in 1998. Okay, and uh, they've been doing this for, and they were actually one of the first and largest, and still the largest peer-to-peer -peer online lending exchanges. Okay, and the one thing you need to understand also is that their um, their lending their loan process is fairly standard. 
and uh, the, the requirements for each loan might differ based on what you're looking for, but they basically want to have things like your employment and a pre-tax income, your address and type of residence, and uh, some, type, some type of uh, personal identification information, including email address and the last four digits of your social. Okay. And uh, one thing you would see when you get the loan offers from a lending club is that you will see the lender's name, the amount, the APR, the number of years to repay, the monthly estimated payments. So basically, after evaluating lending, lending tree, not lending club, lending tree, after evaluating this lender on tens of criteria, including the loan variety, the loan amount, generosity, the cost, the reputation, and the customer service, we assign the company a score of a 9 over 10. And you can see that uh, our rating is pretty similar to what you see on online. For example, on consumer affairs, Lending Tree received uh, they received 3.9 over 5 from uh, 1,930 ratings, and uh, they received uh, 4.5 stars out of 5 from uh, 9,845 reviews on Trustpilot. Let me talk to you now about eligibility, folks. In today's conversation, I am speaking to you about uh, a massive personal loan from a lending tree. Maximum loan amount, $50,000. Minimum loan amount, $1,000. Okay, so what are the eligibility criteria? So if to qualify for a loan on a lending tree, you basically need to uh, satisfy the uh, the standard requirements. First of all, you got to be 18 years of age. So you, have, you cannot be... Um, Gonna be a minor, right? You have to be an adult and uh, 18 years of age, and uh, in some states it has to be 21. So you have to check with the state where you're from. So 18 years of age. Number two, you need to have a job. And the lending club, lending tree, rather, lending tree is really different when it comes to. Uh, sometimes they would they would accept people who have a uh, one year of experience or six months of experience. It really depends on uh, the lender. But you gotta have a job. If you don't have a job, you need to have some source of income very very important and uh, they will want you to, to show your uh, bank statements the last three months so lending tree is very very careful about making sure that all borrowers have a bank account because lenders nowadays want to be paid directly they want to have auto pay so don't think for a minute that you're going to have to send checks or you're going to have to send us uh, on western union to uh, to the lender no it doesn't work anymore it used to work back in the days but uh, nowadays no so you need to have a bank account and uh, they, to be eligible, you also have to uh, have filed tax returns or at least have complied with tax rules. In other words, you can't be like, listen, I didn't file tax returns, but I was making money. No. If you don't have tax returns, you need to justify why. The way things work on uh, netting tree is that basically when you actually uh, enter your information, you get uh, multiple lenders who will vie for your business, who will compete for your business. And lending tree will, will, will contact you, they will call you, they will email you. And once you choose a lender, the lender will tell you the kind of specific eligibility criteria they're looking, they're looking for. Some lenders, for example, on uh, lending tree wants to see your resume. <laughs> this might sound a little weird, but yeah, there are lenders who want to see your um, educational, uh, your educational background, your professional background, and all that kind of stuff. So they want to see your resume. So whatever criteria the lender that you choose decides to have from you decides to get from uh, applicants such as you you need to satisfy that but overall there are three important criteria number one the age so at least 18 years of age and you have to be of course a u.s citizen or a green card holder that's number one number two you need to uh, have a job or some kind of uh, identifiable uh, source of income very important and number three you need to have a bank account Folks, I am talking to you now. I want to talk to you now about the use of loan proceeds. What are we talking about here? We are talking about a massive personal loan, folks, from a lending tree. Maximum loan amount, $50,000. Minimum loan amount, $1,000. Now, when it comes to uh, the loan proceeds, any loan that you get from lending tree, you can actually uh, do a lot, nearly everything you want with it. You can use the loan to make a, a major purchase. You can use the loan to consolidate debt, to consolidate credit card balances. It, re, it is really totally, totally up to you. We've seen uh, people actually go to Lending Tree and borrow and just borrow for a, a wedding, an upcoming wedding, 
or for a trip. You can use the money for a home improvement if you have something going on in your house and you just need the cash to uh, quickly set up to quickly fix your basement, quickly fix something important in your backyard, for example. You can get a loan from Lending Tree with that. The thing is that as long as investors, as long as the lenders on the platform are willing to fund your initiative, it should be fine. Are willing to fund your loan, you should be okay. We've seen also people, you can actually uh, get a loan from uh, Lending Tree to take care of uh, medical emergencies, right? God forbid something happens to you or somebody else in your family and you don't have the cash or don't want to use, don't want to spend the cash to take care of um, the relative or, or yourself and uh, insurance is not going to cover everything. So you're trying to look for the, uh, the the gap, you know, the liquidity gap, the the missing amount. You're trying to get a loan from Letting Tree for that. that so that's fine also. So there are several ways. There's several loan proceeds that you can uh, see on the uh, Letting tree. The only thing they don't accept is if you have to take out a loan to uh, invest in the securities industry, like take out a loan to buy crypto, for example, or take out a loan to uh, to repay. Or you are asking them to repay a personal loan. They're not doing that, and they're not obviously they're not going to approve a loan that you want to use for uh, illegal stuff, right? The whole thing is that the purpose of the loan should be legit. So when you actually, and they will actually also look at the amount you're, you're asking for, right? So for instance, you can't be asking for $50,000 if you just have, a, let's say, a, a small emergency in your house, for example. So be prepared to justify the loan proceeds that you are going to put on your application form. folks to another session of the awesome studio kiwi show uh before the break i was actually uh, talking to you about uh, the evidence needed and uh, now i want to talk to you about i want to really elaborate on that okay so folks again we are talking here about a massive personal loan massive personal loan from uh, lending tree maximum loan amount fifty thousand dollars minimum loan amount one thousand dollars okay what is the evidence needed here the uh, there are several things that you need to provide, as I said earlier, because Lending Tree is a platform. Every lender will have their own sort of a criteria, their own um, number of criteria or uh, evidential matters you need to uh, comply with. And normally, you would see based on the loan that you receive, you'll see the lender's name, the amount, the APR, the number of years to repay, and the monthly estimated payments. Right? They'll also tell you. Based, once they call you or once they email you, they will give you a list of things you need to provide. And usually, they will want to see from you your financial statements. Let's start with that. So financial statements, I already said that before. You need to have a financial, uh, you, need to set, you need to have a set of financial statements. You don't have to do them yourself. You don't have to prepare those statements yourself. You can actually uh, use a free app such as uh, QuickBooks, Zero, Wave. You can use a free app such as uh, Expensify to prepare your financial statements. So financial statements can be a balance sheet. So uh, it, this is also called a statement of a financial condition. It can be an income statement. It's a, this is also called a, a profit and loss statement. This is where you actually put your income and your expenses, right? And this is kind of similar to when you prepare your budget. So when you prepare a budget, you actually have uh, your income and your expenses in uh, two different columns. And uh, they also might want to have your cash flows statements. Don't forget to attach to the to your application form your uh, bank statements for the last three months, as well as your income tax returns. Okay, now if you have bad credit, if your credit is really really skinny, let's say you are in the 400s, you might want to uh, attach to your application at least when you up when you upload stuff to uh, Lending Tree or when the lender asks you for additional information, you can send them something called an explanatory note to credit report you have, you have to understand that the lender will pull your credit reports directly right but you got to be ready to provide some contextual explanatory notes to your credit reports especially if your credit score is poor or fair now let's talk about how to apply folks again in this conversation i am speaking to you about a very large a massive personal loan from Lending Tree. Maximum loan amounts 
$50,000. Minimum loan amount, $1,000. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. So I'm showing you on the screen right now, you, you can only apply through Lending Tree online. You can't apply elsewhere. They don't have, I mean, this is a FinTech company. They don't have a, a network of uh, brick and mortar branches, no. So I'm showing you on the screen right now, this is how things look like. So the first thing you need to do is, uh, you can see the web form here. This is it. So they're, they're saying it very clearly, personal loans, $1,000 to $50,000. And they want you to have uh, your personalized rates this only takes a couple of minutes. That's the, the CTA here, you know, the, the call to action. So the second slide here, you can see that they're asking you how much you would like to borrow. So you have to put the amount that you want. We put $50,000. We were a little, we were a little happy, a little optimistic here. <laughs> and you can see that uh, Marie is there, your loan, your, your loan experts. <laughs> By the way, you can also call a lending tree if you need any help. So the number is there, one 246 4181 so then uh, they want to, they were asking you, uh, how quickly do you need the money? So you can choose uh, within two weeks, within 48 hours, within a month. We just put within two weeks. Next, you can see here that they're asking you your, your zip code. So you got to put your zip code and then click continue. And then they're asking you your street address. Okay. So you put your, your address and the city where you're located and click continue. And then they'll ask you uh, what type of residence you have, whether you're 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 renting or you are you own your own home. You gotta put that in this case we put the own my home so and they ask you for your credit. We put the fair credit so six forty to six seventy nine. Next slide they're asking you your date of birth. So uh, we put a uh, January first, nineteen seventy, which is not true of course, but uh <laughs> and you click continue. And then uh, when it comes to your employment status, so you got to put full time, part time, whatever you choose, whatever applies to your situation. We put here full time and then they're asking you what's your yearly pre-tax income. This is very important. Pre-tax income, gross income. OK, so you, you put the amount we put 48 grand. So you click continue and then they're asking you, uh, are you adding a co-borrower? We said no. So there is no co-borrower here. But if you want to add a co-borrower, you can add the person and they will ask more information about that person also. Click uh, next, and then they're asking for your name, the sweetie key we show in our case. <laughs> click continue, and then they ask for your phone number. You put in your phone number, and you click continue. Then they'll ask you for your email address. You put it in there, and click continue. Then we'll ask you to create a password. Do that and click continue. And then uh, here they're asking you, you know, a couple of other questions and. Uh, you, you, when you click see your results, this is where you will have all the the offers. We didn't do it obviously because all we put in there was fictitious data, right? So, and one thing I want to tell you here is that if you want to, uh, let me give you a few pro tips on how to get approved fast and um, more consistently whenever you apply for a loan on Letting Tree. By the way, folks, I am speaking to you today about a large, a sizable personal loan from lending tree minimum loan amount one thousand dollars maximum loan amount fifty thousand dollars all kinds of credit profiles are welcome so if you really want to uh, get a loan quickly on lending uh, lending tree you really want to gather your documents very important so you want to gather things like personal tax returns or business tax returns for that matter if you happen to have a side gig or you happen to have a business and you would like the lender to uh, consider your business income as part of your as part of your income. You might want to do that. So put together your business and personal tax returns, your business and personal bank statements, if applicable, your financial statements, personally and business, if applicable. And uh, one thing you also need to think about is that you don't need to have uh, good credit necessarily, but you need to have cash. So your ability to repay the loan is more important to the lender than uh, your credit history in some cases because your credit history, as the word history implies, is part of the past. But your ability to repay the loan is part of the present and the future. So you want to put more emphasis on demonstrating your ability to repay the loan. In other words, you want to park as much ka-ching, 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 as, uh, as, as much moolah in your bank account as possible okay and what we're talking about here is that remember that lending tree is a platform so if you don't qualify from one lender you might qualify from it from another lender 
okay? So this is a supermarket. You have a lot of products, quote unquote, a lot of sellers. So this is really basically something you have to think about it's simply because the lender you spoke to said, you know what, we don't want to work with you. Okay, no problem. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Move on to the next lender. The only thing you need to pay attention to is making sure you don't suffer multiple hard pulls. So you want to stick to minimum two or maximum rather maximum two or three lenders. So if lender number one doesn't pan out, if you don't like their offer or they don't like your profile, whatever it is, move on to number two. But don't do it often. Don't don't go all, all the way to number four, number five, number six, number seven. No, no, no. Maximum three. OK. And you also have to constantly think about whether or not you can afford the payments. So always pick a loan amounts that you believe you can afford to repay. And also you believe that you can actually get qualified for. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about a massive personal loan from Lending Tree. Minimum loan amount uh, $1,000, maximum loan amount $50,000. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. Quick quick recap here. So we have, uh, I gave you an overview, the loan facts, the lender at a glance, eligibility criteria, use of loan proceeds, evidence needed, how to apply. And last but not the least, I gave you a few pro tips. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. Marvelous.